Hi, uh, I'm Mauricio, and in this short video, I want to show you a demo of MS Invader. MS Invader is an M365 slash Azure adversary simulation tool, and I encourage you to visit the GitHub to read about how it works and what it does and the techniques it supports, but we'll go ahead and focus on the demo. So in this case, we're going to execute two playbooks, two different simulation playbooks. On the first one, we're going to simulate an attacker that has compromised an, a mailbox and has access to this mailbox uh, credentials. And as you can see, this mailbox um, doesn't have any uh, rules created. It doesn't have forwarding enabled. And um, finally, the inbox folder has the regular permissions. Um, actually, this is no permissions for the default or anonymous user. Um, okay, so the, here's the playbook that we're going to execute. So this is the configuration file that MS Invader is able to execute. First, the authentication um, section. In this case, this user doesn't have MFA enabled, so we can authenticate with username and password using the resource owner auth flow. But if you have a user with MFA and want to simulate an attacker compromising a user with MFA, you can just simply use a different auth flow, and that's going to work with MS Invader. So here we define the techniques and we're going to execute a bunch of techniques here. First, create a rule um, um, using um, EWS and then we create a rule using REST. So this is actually the REST API uh, used by the Exchange Online PowerShell module. So execute one technique in different ways. Uh, then we go ahead and in enable email forwarding using REST forwarding all emails here. Then we change folder permissions using EWS uh, and provide the default user uh, this permission on this folder. And then we do a little bit of enumeration where we search on this mailbox um, for the keyword confidential and try to find five emails and with the keyword wire as well. Okay, so let's go ahead uh, to WebS Invader. Um, and let's execute that first playbook. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna go through each one of the six techniques that have been executed. Just at a high level, we first create a rule uh, with this name using EWS. Create a different rule, enable email forwarding, um, then change folder permissions, and then we search with the key confidential and find. We find five confidential emails and then we search for wire and then we find this. So if we go to the mailbox and we refresh it, we're going to see some of the changes that were uh, executed on this mailbox. Um, so we see that, uh, yep, so two rules were created that will for, forward, forward all emails to this, um, this attacker control email. And we also see that forwarding was enabled on this mailbox. And finally, we see that the mailbox, uh, the folder permissions were changed. And now this default user has author permissions. So this means that uh, any user on this domain can see this user inbox. So that's for the first demo. And let's go ahead and move to the second demo. So on the second demo, we're going to simulate as uh, the attacker has a controlled application registration and malicious OAuth application. Uh, and in this case, our application has permissions to read emails, both using the graph and also using EWS with this uh, role, full access as app. Um, this technique was actually executed by Midnight Blizzard. Um, so if we go to the uh, to the configuration file for this playbook, uh, we're going to authenticate as this app registration, and we're going to read email using graph, and then read email using EWS. So two ways of accessing mailbox in a programmatic way using service principles executed by MS Invader with this configuration file. Um, OK, so let's move on to MS Invader now. So we execute this playbook now. And the playbook executes and first MS Invader uses this service principle to read these emails. 
uh, these uh, five emails and then uses EWS. First, they find I item soap message and then they get item soap message to get all those emails and read those emails. So finally, wrapping up, the goal of MS Invader is to execute these techniques with the goal of generating telemetry that we defenders can use to create detections, to test detections, and to test our hunting hypothesis. So here's here are a couple of hunting hypothesis, hunting hypothesis, uh, and this is Splunk dashboard, and all these detections have been created by the Splunk Threat Research Team. And I'm just gonna run for the past 30 days so we can see some of the results of previous executions on this lab environment. We can see how uh, we use the update inbox rules operation to detect uh, a rule created, uh, but a different uh, operation can also be used to create rules. So by simulating the same technique in different ways, we can identify these differences and create uh, better detection coverage. Here's a query that will hunt for forwarding being enabled on the mailbox. Uh, here's a query where the inbox folder has been assigned permissions to this default user. And here we can use um, the logs uh, on Office 365 to identify when mailboxes have been accessed by the Graph API. So uh, an application, uh, some kind of application is using the Graph API to read emails. And finally, here we can identify when an application is being uh, is reading emails using EWS by basically leveraging the app ID field uh, on both. So yeah, that's it for the demo. Uh, thank you guys. Um,